Okay, everybody, so we covered the first uh, easiest part of speech, the noun. Now let's move on to uh, what I'm going to call the noun's little brother, or the noun's brother in general, I suppose. Uh, and that is our second part of speech, the pronoun. Okay? Sounds like noun, and there's a reason for that, okay? If we look at this word and we split it in two, okay, we get the word noun, and we get the word pro, okay? So, uh, pro is Latin for the word for. So, pronoun means for a noun, okay? For the noun. So, a pronoun is a word that stands in for a noun, okay? Now, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. We use pronouns all the time. In fact, I just used one. We can be a pronoun, okay? So, here's a good example of a sentence. Uh, let's say, John likes, likes ice cream. He thinks it is great. Okay? Fantastic sentence, right? John likes ice cream, he thinks it is great. So, here's our noun. Again, it's a proper noun, we were talking about that. It's a person's name, capitalized, okay? So we have a noun, but we don't want to have a sentence that reads like, John likes ice cream, John thinks it is great. It gets repetitive and boring, okay? So, we replace the noun with a pronoun. The word he, the pronoun he, okay? So, all we're doing is changing uh, the, 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 the way we refer to the subject in the second part of our sentence in order to change the flow, okay? In order to make it sound better. That's the main reason we use pronouns. Now, one of my later videos deals extensively with pronouns, okay? So we're not going to get too much into this. Let's just leave it there for now, okay? A pronoun is a word that replaces a noun.